Averagely BGCMC, I'm Miss Christina, and today we're going to be doing a little script analysis work. So, if you've ever seen the movie Into the Spider-Verse, the Miles Morales story of Spider-Man, that's what we're going to be looking at today, a scene from that movie. So, I've highlighted Miles as blue and his dad, Jefferson, as green, so you'll be able to follow along. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the scene one time first, and then we'll go through it a second time, and we're going to underline and circle important things. All right, so starting with the beginning of the scene, I've kind of uh, folded it here because in the script, this particular scene starts at the bottom of a page, so everything above it doesn't have to do with this particular scene. But if you're able to get the full script um, when you want to analyze a scene, always read before this because it'll inform you of everything that's happening up until this very moment. So this is a scene where Miles and his dad are in the car. So right here in bold at the top, it says EXT, Brooklyn Morning. This is going to mean exterior. So it's telling us if it's taking place inside or outside. So it's taking place exterior, meaning outside, in Brooklyn, so we're in Brooklyn, New York, and it's the morning. So it's gonna say where, and it's gonna say time of day. So this is very specific, and that's great, because that's gonna help us inform our decisions when we work on the scene. So we know it's outside Brooklyn in the morning. The police car moves to the neighborhood. Miles is in the back seat. 10, 10 wins plays. Miles, seriously, Dad. Walking would have been fine. Reveal Jefferson, driving. Miles' dad is a cop. Moving on to the next page. Jefferson, you can walk plenty on Saturday when you peel those stickers off. You saw that? I don't know if that was me, Dad. And the two from yesterday on Clinton? Yeah, those were me. Jefferson stares, shuts down the cheekiness. Miles looks hurt. Jefferson clocks his pained look. It bums Jefferson out. There's an awkwardness between Miles and his dad that's not there with his mom. They drive by a row of hipster coffee shops. Jefferson tries to bridge the gap with Miles. More cheerful. Jefferson. So, look at that. Another new coffee shop. You see that, Miles? Totally, yeah. You see that one? That's that, what's that one called? Foam party. So here's difficult because they're gonna say this at the exact same time. That's why their character names are side by side in the script. So it's overlapping on purpose. Phone party, come on, and I see it. Everyone is just lining up. You see that, Miles? Is that a coffee shop or a disco? Dad, you're old man. News anchor on the radio, so just a voice. It's telling us it's on the radio, so we probably don't see this person at all. It's coming from Miles' dad's car, which they're inside. There are multiple reports of another mysterious seismic event last night. Sources close to Spider-Man say he is looking into the problem. Jefferson shakes his head, disapproving, turns off the radio. Spider-Man, I mean, this guy swings in once a day, zip zap zap in his little mask and answers to no one, right? Yeah, dad. Again, we're gonna say this at the same time. And meanwhile, my guys are out, uh-huh, there, lives on the line. School kids run alongside the car looking at Miles, who slinks down. They bang on the window, teasing Miles. You get arrested? No masks, we show our faces, accountability. Oh, no, Dad, speed up, I know these kids. You know, with great ability comes great accountability. That's not even how the saying goes, Dad. I do like this ser his cereal though. I'll give him that. Jeff stops the car. The teens reach Miles' window. Yo, Miles, you get arrested? Mortified. Oh my gosh, don't cops run red lights? Jefferson, some do, but not your dad. And that's the end of the scene. All right, so what we're gonna do now that we've read it through one time, just to read through it. So if you get a scene for an audition, what I like to do is I just read through it. I don't circle or underline yet. I just read the whole thing once. So let's go back to the beginning here. 
let's say police car is all in caps. If you can see that, I'm going to circle that because it's specific and it's uh, an object, it's a real thing. I'm gonna circle that, moves through the neighborhood. Miles is in the back seat. Back seat is a specific place. So I'm gonna circle that again. 1010 Winds plays, that's a song. I'm gonna play that as well. I'm gonna circle that as well, sorry. All right, Miles' first line says, seriously dad, walking would have been fine. All right, so this is telling me that he doesn't wanna be there right now. So the emphasis might be on walking would have been fine and it would have been fine. That's how he feels. He feels, so things that have to do with feeling, emotions, um, descriptions, I like to underline. So seriously, dad, walking would have been fine. Reveal Jefferson driving. Miles' dad is a cop. That's already all caps. That tells me it's important. So I'm gonna circle that. All right, Moving next on. page, Jefferson says, you can walk plenty on Saturday when you peel those stickers off. Huh, so you can walk plenty on Saturday, it's a specific thing, when you peel those stickers off. So that sounds like an action, it's very specific too. And stickers is an object, I'm gonna circle that. You saw that? I don't know if that was me, dad. Hmm, I don't know is how he feels. Is he actually saying he doesn't know or is he just telling his dad that? That's a decision you as the actor can make. You saw that? I don't know if that was me, dad. And the two from yesterday on Clifton. So two specific, yesterday, even more specific, on Clinton, I'm assuming he's a street. Very specific, it's saying what he's done yesterday. He knows more than Miles thinks he knows. Yeah, those were me. There we have it, he's admitting it. Those were me. Jefferson stares. So I'm gonna underline stares. Again, it's an, it's an action. It's telling me what he's doing. Shuts down the cheekiness, huh? Shuts down the cheekiness of Miles trying to get away with it. So I'm gonna circle that and circle that. Miles looks hurt. Hurt's very specific. That's a feeling, it's an emotion. So I'm gonna underline that. Jefferson clocks his pained look. Another description of how he looks or feels. It bums Jefferson out. So actually the screenwriters already underlined this whole thing for us. So that tells me it's extra important if they felt the need to underline it in the screenplay. There's an awkwardness between them. Description of how everything's going, a feeling between Miles and his dad that's not there with his mom. That's a different kind of underline. This right here is the screenwriter informing us what's going on. So this is what they want the scene to look like on screen. They want us to see how awkward it is between Miles and his dad. And we want it to be very specific because it's going to be in contrast to how we look at Miles when he's with his mom, probably in other scenes, he probably looks really comfortable with his mom. So they drive by a row of hipster coffee shops. I'm gonna circle that because that looks like a place, very specific, it's already in caps. They drive by a row of hipster coffee shops. Jefferson tries to bridge the gap with Miles. Mm, trying to do something. More cheerful, emotion. So look at that, another new coffee shop. I'm gonna circle coffee shop. Do you see that, Miles? Totally, yeah. You see that one. What's that one called? Foam party. Hmm. That's very specific, I'll circle that. Foam party, so he repeats it, his dad repeats it. Come on, and everyone is just lining up. Foam party is specific. Come on, and everyone is just lining up. So foam party, that's the name of the coffee shop. He's saying, come on, everyone is just lining up in action. You see that, Miles? I see it, he sees it. Doesn't sound happy about it though to me. All right, is that a coffee shop or a disco? Coffee shop or a disco? He's trying to make a comparison. He's trying to, we know this already, bridge the gap. He's trying to make conversation with his son for it to not be so awkward. Dad, you're old man. So that could be light, that could be funny. You're old man. He uh, describes his dad jokingly. You're old. So we've got some friendly, banter going on. So maybe 
his plan, his dad's plan to bridge the gap is working. And then we get a radio voice. There are multiple reports of another mysterious, mysterious is very specific, also multiple reports, multiple, not even just one report, several, multiple, so extra underlined because that's informing us of what's going on. There are multiple reports of another mysterious seismic event last night. Sources close to, uh oh, here we go, big circle there, Spider-Man say he is looking into the problem. So I'm going to underline looking into the problem. That's something that Spider-Man is doing. He's looking into the problem. And Spider-Man, as we know, he is going to be a main, main character. So we're going to circle that. All right. Last page. Jefferson shakes his head, disapproving, turns off the radio. So I've already kind of done a little bit there. He is shaking his head, disapprovingly. So this disapproving is describing what he's doing, shaking his head in action and a description. It's going to be underlined. Turns off, saying what he's doing again, turns off the radio, circling radio. Spider-Man, circle again. I mean, this guy swings in once a day, describing what Spider-Man's doing, swings in once a day, zip, zap, zop in his little mask. Little mask, I'm going to circle that actually because he's talking about a real thing, even though he may be exaggerating or making fun of Spider-Man a little bit right now. If I was playing this character, I would want to make it a point to emphasize Little Mask because he's he's trying to belittle Spider-Man right now. So if I kind of say a little bit of an insult, I'm going to want to put emphasis on it. So I'm going to circle Little Mask. And answers to no one. Ooh, that's interesting to me. Answers to no one. I'm going to underline it. Yeah, dad. You can circle dad if you want. I'm going to circle dad. And meanwhile, my guys are out there, lives on the line. Ah, so my guys. That kind of tells us, so we know we're in a cop car. We know that Miles would rather have walked to school, right? Um, and so his dad in a cop, in a cop car, he's giving his son a ride to school, probably on his way to work. He says, my guy. So that tells us he's higher up um, in his police department. He says, my guys are out there. Lives on the line describing what my guys are doing. Here we have more info. School kids, very specific, run alongside the car looking at Miles, uh-oh, who slinks down, ooh, describing what Miles is doing. They bang on the window, uh-oh, describing what they're doing. Teasing Miles, that's not nice. So they're teasing him. They're banging on the window, teasing him. It's describing everything that the school kids are doing to Miles. And you get arrested. So this is in italics and it's kind of quoted. So this is a screenwriter kind of saying, maybe they're saying this and we don't hear them. We see their mouths moving and they're saying something along the lines of, you get arrested. And looks like Jefferson, dad, doesn't hear him. No masks, we show our faces. Accountability. No masks, accountability. Oh no, dad, speed up. Oh my gosh, dad, speed up. Describing what he wants his dad to do. I know these kids. That's information, that's important information because now we may know why they're they're teasing him. They're banging on the window. They're, they're, they're asking Miles things. You know, with great ability comes great accountability. That's not even the saying goes, Dad. That's not even how the saying goes, Dad. So not even how the saying goes, Dad. Circle Dad. I do like his cereal, though. That's specific. So he says he's complaining about Spider-Man here, right? Then he says, I like his cereal, describing how he feels about a specific thing, his cereal. So I'm assuming Spider-Man has his own cereal out in the stores. I'll give him that. Jeff stops the car. He's driving, saying what he's doing to the car. The teens reach Miles' window. Oh no. Also, I forgot to highlight Jeff here. Teen boy, so one of the school kids, I'm assuming, says, yo, Miles, you get arrested? 
miles, just grabbing maybe what he had been done. And he is what? Mortified. So we even get a description before the line. This is informing the actor playing Miles that he needs to sound mortified when he says this line. He's embarrassed. He would have rather have walked, right? We already found that out in the beginning of this scene. This is why he didn't want to be driven to school in the cop car because he might be what? Noticed and then he would be mortified. Oh my gosh, don't cops run red lights? Don't cops, informing us again that his dad is a cop, run red lights, what he wished his dad would just do right now so he can get to school and move on. His dad says, some do, but not your dad. Dad again. So this scene is really interesting because it's showing the dynamic between Jefferson and Miles, father and son. Some playful banter on the other page, but most of all, he's in the back of his dad's cop car on the way to school, and this is the conversation that they had. And already, just from underlining things that stood out to us, feelings, emotions, descriptions, and circling important names, places, things, it's already telling us so much more about what the scene um, is about and what's going on. So if you have an opportunity to go through another scene, just like I did here, we've got it from the beginning, we've got the first one here, first part, and our second page, and our third page. This is how you're going to want to do it. This is what helps me, but every actor has a different preference. So if you want to just start out with little stuff like circling and underlining and making sure you know the distinction between the two characters, reading everything one time, going back a second time, and doing this, you're going to know a lot more about the scene. You're going to get a lot more details, um, and you're going to be able to read between those lines, okay? So try it and let me know how it goes.